Welcome to this episode of Design Talk by DIY3DTech.com where every solution starts with a problem. Now my problem in this case has been I needed a way to use my Ryobi trimmer as a router. Now the Ryobi trimmer, at least mine, came with this metal bracket and it's really like a zip tool for cutting out uh, electrical outlets and drywall etc. But I wanted to be able to use this to actually cut out um, plexiglass, acrylic, and that kind of stuff. So what I did is I turned to OpenSCAD to create a replacement base for it that allowed me to use it like a router uh, instead of this base. Now, this base you sort of could, but I mean the exposure here, you have a spinning bit, you have your fingers, the stability, you can also see it's crooked, so it just did not serve the purpose. So I whipped this up in OpenSCAD, and I want to talk about a little bit about my design tool choices. So I could have also done this in Fusion 360. I found I could do it faster in OpenSCAD simply because I had a bunch of modules already for a project similar to this. So what I did is I just modified the code a little bit to come up with this. And so the way that this works is kind of simple. I just come up with a base. I've got some clearing holes in here so you can see to align, you can look down into the hole, see to align your bit on your cutting line. And then I designed this base so it can run against the straight edge. Now I have it set up in OpenSCAD where I can make a square base, I can make any shape of base I want simply by changing the function value for the circle because I used a cylinder uh, object to create this. Uh, also I used a fillet to, to strengthen this for the lateral torque and it is pretty strong. Then I added a cinch um, uh, tab here with a quarter 20 bolt. Now there is a little bit of movement in this um, so I may come up with some changes for that because one of the other things I want to point out I want to loosen this up a little bit and pop this apart. I did screw up a little bit here and I don't know if you heard that snap but uh, there's this retainer ring in here that, that clips into this piece here, into this little square hole. And this keeps it from, from uh, racking. Now, one of the pieces I did, I sort of screwed up, is when I took my measurements, I took them from the top down, and you notice my initial hole uh, replicates that, but I didn't take into account I turned it this way. So I drilled a little hole here to receive it, to receive this, and I think what I'm gonna do is change that to make a ring that that would be when I put this out on thinking first it'll ring that runs all the way around here that it'll just snap into that ring and that'll help with some of the torque but it's still um, I think gonna be a little bit you know in other words you'll be able to torque it a little bit and you notice it kind of that that holds it a little bit and it's now popped in there so I can cinch this down uh, so and the cinch pulls it pulls it fairly tight I may also, in the end product, move this back a little bit. Uh, I, I don't know yet. I'm going to see how it works so a little bit. So far, my test, it works all right. Again, if you hold it up here, which is where you really should hold it, so as you're running it along, you shouldn't hold it at the base. And again, so long as you hold it up here, I don't think the racking will be an issue at all. Um, you know, again, you know, safety warning, safety glasses, be careful with this. I make no warranties, etc. But so far, it really seems to work well. And uh, again, I kind of just wanted to show you guys what you can do with a little bit of out of the box thinking and a 3D printer and some filament. Uh, you can come up with something like this that really changes how this tool works and its, its value. And so I've gone from this to this. So hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, hey, give it a big thumbs up. I'll have the link to this out on Thingiverse. So if you have a Ryobi router, you can go out there and get it. If you don't have a Ryobi router or you have another trimmer like this, I will also have the OpenSCAD files out there. And I also have links to uh, the OpenSCAD site where I have the code in more detail. And I've done a video on the code creation here. So if you're interested in getting to OpenSCAD, be sure to subscribe to our sister channel. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button, and then Swag Shop's up in the corner. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.